Hey guys, Lumberjack333 here again. Um, we're going to take a little break from the forest for a quick episode here. I want to show you guys this new game I found called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And the coolest thing about it is that it's free. So before we get into the game, I just wanted to show you. This is landfall.se slash totally accurate battle simulator backslash. And you can go here, sign up for an email, and in the email they will send you a download link to this game. Now it is very, very early alpha. It's a little glitchy. It's It's kind of... Uh, Angry Birds, Ask or Goo, I don't know if you've ever played those games, but the, it's, the progression is like that. There's just a series of levels, and you're given a certain amount of resources, and you got to defeat the other team, and there's a bit of strategy to it, but it's really addicting. I started playing it at midnight last night, and I probably played far longer than I should until 2 in the morning. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, so this is the main menu. Uh, you got play, obviously, and options minimal settings here it's very simple graphically this game and gameplay wise it's nothing overly complicated sandbox mode so exactly what it sounds like you create the enemy team here whatever you want plop guys down and then you can set the other team up if you want and just play with it I don't know why the chariot is Santa's sleigh with reindeer, but that's just kind of the way this game is. It's uh, it's quirky. It's a little goofy right now. I don't know if that's going to be something they stick with. Well, let's get into the main gameplay mode here. So I'm just going to pick a random level, 13. So we've got an enemy Viking army, two axemen, and a catapult. So now we have to decide. We've got 2,000 monies here and we have to decide what units we're going to use to defeat them. So the Vikings are pretty strong. <coughs> they have shields, they've got decent attack, health. Let's see all their stats right here. Um, I find dealing with these guys, the shields from Greece, if you make a tight little barricade of them, let them go in first. And it's mostly melee guys here, so I think we're going to want to maybe we'll throw some archers in. Now these guys do, you can't shoot through the back of your own guys, so don't line them all up in front of each other. Make sure that they've got clear angle at the enemy team. And I like to put a row back here so they don't engage right away. So after a few, a few of my guys I've dropped here at the front, they won't just be killing them with friendly arrows. <coughs> so, let's see what happens. You basically just get free control of the camera as the battle progresses. It's super fun, this game. Let's see, okay, so our shields are down. One axe guy down whole platoon of archers is down. Regiment, brigade. It's not looking good. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we lost this one. There it is. Game over. Oh, I got one guy hiding behind the rock down here. It's, this is a it's a pretty early game. Sometimes you guys get stuck a little bit. But that does not take away from the fun. So I'm just going to restart this. It's going to go on forever. So a new strategy. Clear the map. What are we going to use here? I'm going to use Vikings against Vikings. We don't really need the shields. Maybe if we go with some spearmen. Now with the catapult there, it's good to space these guys out. Because if they wind up in one big group, if you line them up this way and that catapult gets a direct shot, it'll just take them out like bowling pins. And let's throw some more archers in. The archers weren't very effective actually. Let's just 
do a big spear point of footman back here. They don't really hold formation, but it's fun to do. A couple. Some flankers. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we got some flankers on the southern flank here. Let's see what happens. The catapult is largely ineffective. Oh, yeah, see. Cleaned out a bunch of his own guys there, too, though. Whoa, look at the axe guy. He's doing flips. Very aggressive use of Max. Alright, come on guys, let's take out the catapult. There we go. I think we got her this time. Spearmen and swordmen. Swordsmen. Oh, Come on, get in there. Catapults are pretty weak. It's not going to take much. There we go. So that is the basic premise of this game. It's kind of a little bit of strategy, a little bit of Angry Birds, a little bit of ridiculous zany combat. It's quite fun. It's not overly long, but give it a try. Um, let the developers know what you think of it. It's just nice to support games like this because I do see a lot of potential in this combat system. Like, if you incorporated this into a civilization type game or something like that so you have those units on the strategic map and then it blows up into a battle scene and you can plop down you get a certain amount of guys for however many units you have on that tile and you can plop down your men and just kind of watch the battle or auto calculate so it's a really uh, could be a really fun way to have some interesting combat dynamics in games like civilization and the slower um, turn-based strategy games. So that's all I got for you guys for this episode. I'm going to start working on a new forest hard mode and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Lumberjack333 out. Thanks for watching.